We ended off our last video after getting our Ring of Endurance and getting 70,220 points. All we have left to do to complete our account, by complete our account I mean finish every single task realistically possible, is to finish 500 Theater of Bloods and get every single drop. Right now the only drop I'm missing is the Sanguinesti Staff. And complete Nightmare which includes getting the full Inquisitor set with the Mace, a Staff with the Orb, and that gives over like 2000 points in total. Uh, I then need to do like Infernos, Demonics, and a bunch of clue shit. We're gonna start off with some Tobs and get into Nightmare in the rest of today's video. Let's get into it. Alright, another purple. I, all I need is a Sanguine Staff. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Justice Art, Leg Guards. Damn it. Alright, it's my purple. I think this is back to back purple for me. I just got the Justy Legs. Or maybe it's not. I don't know if that was one before. But, what are we saying? Ah, oh, damn, it's a Rapier. Fuck, man. These are all alcohols, but all I need is a staff to complete it. A big thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Let's be honest, most of you guys only watch me because I'm tall, dark, and handsome with a full head of hair. Now, as we all know, RuneScape is an incredibly stress-inducing game. And whether you're debt staking at the duel arena or dying in the wilderness, the stress can get to you and could even play a part in you going bald. Now, did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. Keeps is a hair loss treatment product that allows you to get treated from home while also being able to visit your doctor online. This means that the medication is delivered to your home every three months so there's no need for any awkward doctor visits. So if you're noticing that you're losing hair and you want to do something about it, do something about it. Click the link in the description or go to keeps.com slash debitter to get 50% off your first order of hair loss treatment. I've been stacking up some elite class gets from the Theater of Blood and just anything else I've been doing and I managed to get 5 of them so far. I've done 15 clues so far and got 12 out of 98 of the collection log. I need 25 items from this collection log to get another 250 points. So we're just going to get started working on that and a mixture of this and Nightmare. I just woke up so I want to work on this as it's a lot less brain power to kill smoke dungeons and do clue school, uh, to kill smoke devils and do clue scrolls. So let's open these five and see if we can get any more of these items. Uh, musketeer hat, I'm not sure if we've already got that. Planks, which is cool. Uh, I don't think that's any unique. Don't think that's any unique. Yuri's hat we've already got. Ranger gloves and a ranger's tunic. Jesus, what we really need is the ranger boots from mediums. That's 20 clues done for 15 uh, fifteen things now. We've got the ranger's tunic and the tights and the gloves, bro. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've gotten ourselves five more elite caskets and seven more hards. We've already completed the log task for this. It's just getting the 200, 300 hard clues we need to do and 200 elites we need to do. But we also need to get to 25 unique things here for 250 points. Probably not going to get them for five caskets. These things are extremely rare. And we're going to get dupes here or there. But we're just going to open it up and see if we can make any progress. Nothing from that. Nothing from that. Nothing from that. Uh, we got a master clue scroll. Interesting. Let's just open it real quick, see if we can do it. Probably can't. Nope. Another loss to Fremi. And let's open that. Royal Scepter and a Deerstalker. I'm pretty sure we already have the Deerstalker, so that's only one new item from those five clues. Nine more to go. Unfortunately. I've received so many master clues, and I've still only got two steps done in total. Let's open these seven hard caskets. Armital Dehide Shield Black Dragon Mask. Cool. Uh, just a bunch of rune items, rune items, master clue again, can we do this one? Okay, so this is something we actually can do, Zamorak Godsword, Varric Castle, nice, we're gonna drop that for now. Gothic's Kite Shield, Bandos Full Home, Bandos Chaps, interesting. I'm not sure how close we are to getting a full Dehide set, but that is very nice. Okay, this should be my third step of this master clue, we've been working on this since the league started, every single master clue we've got. We've tried to do obviously just due to the regions we have had to drop so many and this is only the third step we're getting done unfortunately but let's see what the next one is for us and if we can do it or not can we do it oh my god we can wait is it did i just get the same one back to back is that even possible i guess it is that's awesome what the hell that is like some blessed rng right there big ngl on that one okay let's see what we get this time we're now on four steps done and wh what? Dude, have I just found a glitch? I just got it back to back to back three times. What the hell? What is going on? That is probably some of the best RNG in the game, but it's for a master clue, so it's really not that deep. But 
Let's see what we get this time. And there's no way I get it for the fourth time in a row. Okay, finally another loss to Fremi. But we're now on five steps of the Master Clear from two. Three of the steps are back to back to back. Finally, bro, I've had to drop tens of clues because I haven't had the Dragon Spear. I've had a Ring of Wealth for all of them. I've killed like 20k Smoke Devils plus at this point. So I've gone very dry on this Dragon Spear. It's something I've needed. I just kill these Smoke Devils for clues, but a lot of the clues that I get, I need a Dragon Spear for them. I need a Dragon Spear for it, and I've gotten incredibly unlucky getting it, but now that I've got it, it unlocks more clues for us. Alright, I'm hoping for the best RNG. Please just be a six-step master. Um, I have to dig. <gasps> and that is a master toss done. Oh my god. Not a master toss done, but a master casket done. That is what we like to see. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Let's get ourselves to the crafting guild. This will give us 100 points just by hope opening it, but I'm really hoping for a unique as well, which is another 100 points. Damn it, just to complete a master clue scroll, 100 points right there. Unfortunately, no unique, but that puts me up to 70,320 points. Puts me over Mads again because we're, I'm a 100 points difference of him. Still rank 1 Mauritania, and now I'm ranked 10 on the league points overall. Avernic. Oh, it's for EV scape as well, I'm delusional, huh? I just died and it's a purple for me, come on, toss me the Linguini stuff, that's all I need to complete Theodore Blood, please. Avernic Defender Health. Yo, and I've got a purple as well. Let's go, bro. Please let me get this Linguini. Please. Please. Oh, my. Jake just hit me with the deserved. I think he's about to take that one back. Not gonna lie. Yup. <laughs> Four is just our face guard. Jake is not happy. He needs it to complete his thing, and he's almost 500 dry of it. Okay, I've started soloing the Nightmare. 15 Sharks is our first drop. 1141. Hopefully this time gets increased. I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas or holidays in general if you're not celebrating. Unfortunately for me, I am still just grinding out the Trailblazer League for you guys. I haven't gone home in about a year because of the pandemic, so there's nothing actually better for me to do right now anyway. And it is a lot of fun to grind out these videos. Just a quick reminder that these videos do take hundreds of hours to make. You'll see my Theater of Blood and Nightmare Casey jump up loads today. And it takes me around one hour to do five Nightmare kills and one hour to do four Theater of Blood Casey and both of those jump up hundreds in this video. So each one of these episodes do take hundreds of hours to make. So I hope you guys are enjoying. The best way to support me is by subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna go that further step to help out in the algorithm, all you have to do is like the video and comment down below. But once again, it is completely optional. Let's get on with the video. Touch south wall, go, uh, I think I'm good. Right now. Furious for defense, yeah. We should be getting into the tobs in about 38 more HP gamers. Um, good fight. 68, 34. Complete the Inferno 10 times, 250 points. 70,570 points. Jeez. Jeez. He needs the Just Our Face Guard and he's done with Tob. And he's got his third scythe. There he goes. Is this the Linguini? Please, bro. Please be the Linguini staff. Huh. Third Justy chest guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Get the face guard. Oh. Wait, no, you just finished. You just finished with your leg guards. Damn, bro. We're never going to see McNeil again. Please be the Linguini. Please, bro. Please. Sang, 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 sang. Fourth Justy chest guard. Bro, let's go. First kill of the morning, Inquisitor Harbor. Let's go. 42kc. All right, so I was literally just about to record my clip for going dry here because I w once every 33 kills, I think I'm meant to get like an armor piece with the boosted drop rates and solos. I've done 10 group kills, so this is my 32nd solo kill by Mathematics. And there we go. That is our Inquisitor Harbrook. 250 points right there. 70,820 points, our first piece of the set. Let's go. Yo. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. 70 kills count. Volatile orb. That's exactly what we need. It's not the staff, so we don't get any points for it. But once we get the staff, we get 250 points from the staff and 500 points for putting a uh, staff with the orb on. So that's really nice. As soon as I get that staff now, I'm going to fly up 750 points. 70 kill count for the orb. That's lit. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's fucking go. Give me the fucking sanguine. 294kc sanguine, please, man. What we saying? What we saying? What we saying? Oh my, another Justy Lock. Oh, it's a good fight. And that is 100 KC at the Nightmare, and the only drops we've gone so far is the Volatile Orb and the Hallbrook. Um, I meant to have 
everything but the maze completed in 200 kill count by that I mean a staff with an orb and the full armor set. Now I wouldn't be worried but I haven't got any dupes either. I've only gotten those two drops like the 200 kill count includes like getting dupes and getting a little bit unlucky here or there. So the fact that I haven't gotten any dupes worries me because if I get dupes then I'm going to be more worried etc. 100 kill count to go until I should have that completed however but not exactly the best point to be at at the halfway mark in terms of KC. He's dropped the smiley face, the back to back. Come on, give it to me. And there's an Avernic. Bing. Alright, that is 300 tops completed. Cool. <sighs> Another lo Actually, that's lost a Tarowin, the Master Clue. Good fight. Um, okay, so we just opened three elites. I don't think I got a single unique from my collection log there. Another D skim ornament kit. Uh, good fight. Gothic's Kite Shield from the Hard. That doesn't help us. Cyclops head doesn't help us, doesn't help us, and doesn't help us. Good fight. Bro, thank god. 124 KC and I finally got another drop and it's a unique Inquisitor's Plate Skirt. I've got the Plate Body too, thank god bro. I was losing my mind here that I was going dry by 200 KC, so what, 76 more KC? I'm going to start this next kill. By 76 KC, I meant to have all the drops apart from the maze for my toss, and yeah, this is what we got. But it's nice, I guess we'll take it. Ah, oh, 127kc, like three kills later, another plate skirt, bro. That's my first dupe, this is what I was hoping to avoid, because the kill count's already up there. Could have been the helm, is what it is. Let's go, 132 kill count, I finally got the nightmare stuff, let's fucking go, bro. Let's go get that orb and put it on, that's 750 points right there. That's exactly what we take, finally, bro, our luck is turning around. Now all we need is the helm for that set, and then we work towards the mace, I'm so happy with that. I honestly thought my luck was terrible, but here we go. It's finally turning around. That's 250 points for equipping it. Let's put this Volatile Orb on there. Yes, and don't ask again. 500 points. That puts me up to 71,570. Just like that, bro. Let's go. 142 KC, and we have gotten our second dupe. We have the dupe skirt. Now we have a dupe nightmare stuff. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Obviously, if we get the mace, it's a field day. That's orgasmic shit right there. But realistically, we're still looking for the helm. That's a more common drop but we could just get dupes of the other armors too. Let's keep going. And that is 150 kill count at the Nightmare. I actually thought using Void would be better than using two Inquisitor pieces, but ever since I've started just using the Plate Skirt and the Hallberg, I've been getting like consistent 10 minute kills. So definitely better. Obviously the kills get quicker once again if we get the Helm or the Mace. I think we will stop if we get the Helm before the Mace because that's 500 points right there. The Mace is extremely rare and that's 250 points. Obviously I do need to get it. It's one of the tasks I 100% have to complete before the end of the uh, league. I still want to leave it for like the last task that I have to do because there's still a lot of clue shit to get done and I want to get started on that. I just have to do 1500 demonics. So I think I'll leave the maze for the end, but obviously if I get it before the helm, I'll just camp till I get the helm, but we'll see what happens. 150 kill count. Oh my God, 184 KC Inquisitor's Mace. I've been really sad that I've been going dry for this helm, but it doesn't matter. This is the rarest drop it is one in 400. It's meant to take around 80 hours for me to get on average. And I've just gotten it on 184 kill count. Don't even care that I'm dry for the helm now. This is amazing, bro. That is amazing. It should have taken me around 400 kills on average to get it. I've beaten it by half the drop rate and it gives me 250 points. And it even speeds up the kills here so much that so going for that helm will be a lot nicer. We take those 100%. Let's put that on. 250 points, 71,820 points. Jesus Christ, man. You guys have no idea how happy, I'm with, how happy I am with that. That's 800 mil in the main game. Obviously, it ain't shit on here, but the mace at 184 KC is so nice. Oh yeah, there we go. 9 minute 46 solos. The mace is so nice. We're going to be getting sub 10 solos now and pretty much 10 minutes all the time as well. That's really, really nice. And that is 200 KC at the Nightmare. Obviously no helm yet. Um, I'm hoping we get it soon because obviously we got the maze. We'd finish Nightmare and never have to come back here. It's kind of pointless to go lucky for the maze if we then go super unlucky for the helm. So let's hope we're not here for another 200 kills. But let's see how we go and let's hope we get this helm soon. There is absolutely no way. I've just got the Nightmare Staff and the pet in one drop. 219 kill count. I have no idea what the RNG is or the odds on that are. Probably extremely rare, probably one of the rarest things ever, but this is going to sound shitty to you guys. I don't want either of those drops. I don't care about the pet. It is a temporary game mode. I have already. Got, I guess this is like my sixth pet now. I don't need the pet. I want to be done with Nightmare. I need the helm and I can get out of here. This gives me no points. Yeah, it's cool, but the way they've coded the game, I can't even use any of my pets anyway because of Lost Recall. You can't teleport anywhere while you have a pet down. 
So all the pets I've gotten have just been sitting in my bank, and this one's going to sit in my bank too. 219kc, that is an extremely rare drop, but once again, just give me the helm so I can get out of here. Alright, and that is complete the Theater of Blood 350 times. We're extremely dry- okay, well, I was about to say we're extremely dry on our purple, but it looks like it's someone's purple that is not my own, unfortunately. It's a scythe, he's already got one of those. Anyway, yep, that puts us to 72,000 points. Now, we could actually be at 73k points right now if I got the Sanguine stuff. If I had gotten the Obsidian Helm, I could have worked on some other stuff as well. Fortunately, just a little bit dry on drops. I know we just got the mace, so we can't really complain too much. But the full set of Inquisitor is actually more points. But that puts me at rank 10 now at 72,070 points. And we should be able to climb up a bunch more tomorrow as well. Okay, let's open these 20 medium clues. Here's the collection log. Obviously, we are only looking for vestment pieces and the ranger boots because those are the ones that give points. But I guess it'd be cool to see what we get up to. We're currently at 54 medium clues completed with 52 of the collection log slots filled. So let's go. Um, the city spanner, nothing there. We're just looking for the ranger boots. Nothing there. Master clue, interesting. Can we do that? Um, flared tr Oh no, that's up in the magic axe hut. No, I cannot do that. Bandos miter, interesting. Okay, that bandos miter actually does nothing for us. We already have one of them. Um, that does nothing. Black leprechaun hat, nothing. Sardomen Miter? Does that do anything? Oh, I just got Ranger Boots! What? I just got Ranger Boots in that too! I did, did it, was that in the same clue as the Sardomen Miter? I just didn't realize it. I have no idea, but let's go check if that does anything for my Sardomen set. I think it might, you know? Okay, if I don't need the Sardomen Stole, then I've got a full Miter set. Please tell me I do. Oh, bro, as if you need the Stole. Or, wait, no, I have the Stole. What am I missing? Oh, no, I, do, I have the Crozier. I don't have the Stole, bro. Shit game. Shit game. What else do I still need? I guess for this, I need the Sardomen Stole. What can you get that from? Damn, you only get it from hard clues. Interesting. So what could I get to complete the set? Um, I guess I could get the Ancient, but maybe that's from easy clues. Okay, so it looks like the set I can complete from medium clues is if I get the Bandos Cloak, which is a very tall order to get. It kind of sucks that this doesn't count as a vestment set. I think I need the Stole and not the Crozier as my fifth piece. But we do have ranger boots, which is nice. So let's just equip those for 100 points. I think that's a hard task right there. Very lucky to have got those, but I did think that I also completed the vestment set in that. So we actually went from like 200 to 350 Theater of Blood KC in this video. I didn't complete the Sank Staff. I went from zero Nightmare Solos to about 200. and managed to complete the Staff, the Mace, and unfortunately not the Armor set. Once again, this is hundreds of hours of progress from one single video. So I hope you guys did not enjoy. My final Trailblazer League video on this account will probably be in the new year, so I will see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching.